you doing? It's so nice to see you. I'm so glad you could join me today on YouTube. My name is Deshaun and you're watching Distinctively Deshaun. Today is what I call a quick dish and I invite you to come along. So welcome to my home. Hello, blessed people. Today, I am doing my dishes, okay? I have a sink full, actually two sinks full of dishes. I'm also preparing a dish for my husband and I, a quick dish, something that doesn't take too long. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all had a blessed week. I did. I, I had a lot going on this week. That's partially the reason why I have so many dishes to wash. But to God be the glory. Sister girl was tired, okay? But he brought me through everything that I needed to come through this week. And I am so grateful for that. I got to get this um, sink together in these dishes because I hate to cook in a dirty kitchen. Now, I just use all that dish soap. And I used to get on my children all the time about using that much soap. I don't even know why I did that. Look at me. If they was here, I would not hear the end of it, okay? That's what you call a team too much, okay? I, I really did the most because doing dishwashing liquid goes a long way. I don't know if you guys noticed my new faucet. I, I had mentioned in the hall last week that I had to put a new faucet in because I had a link, uh, um, a link, <laughs> a leak under my sink, and um, my old faucet was just a mess. Okay, so I love this new thing. I'm gonna show y'all how it works for those that don't have this kind. In case you're interested in getting it a little later, I don't know why I didn't switch out a long time ago. I like to rinse my dishes prior to washing them. Um, it just makes it so much easier to clean. I like to wash my sink as well as my um, dish rack too, if it needs to be done, but it was pretty good today, so I didn't clean my dish rack. I actually need to deep clean this entire kitchen. I'll probably do that in the next um, week or so because it's been a minute. My cabinets need to be wiped down, but Listen, I'm going to need to rest a little bit first. I hope y'all don't mind hanging today because I feel like talking. Listen, I missed y'all. Is that all right? Can I talk to y'all? Because that's what type of time I'm on today. All right. In this video. Y'all not going to see me either, by the way, because I didn't really get in front of the camera. So let's talk. Let's communicate. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. Listen, don't remain a visitor. Please do consider becoming a part of the family. I do videos on decoration, inspiration, as well as motivation. And we would love for you to join us. To my distinctive family, listen, y'all. I know y'all doing big things. I've been praying for y'all this week. This is a new month, okay? We are into September, and September is a month of celebration. So I hope that y'all are celebrating, okay? Celebrate the blessed things that are headed your way. Celebrate the great and mighty things that God intends and plans on doing in our lives, okay? It is time to get excited. To my new subscribers, listen, y'all welcome to the family i said welcome to the family i said welcome to the family you are amazing thank you so much for subscribing
I finally replaced um, some of the outlet covers in here. I still have a few more I need to do. Um, but I don't know, like, I need to do some maintenance, minor maintenance in this kitchen. One thing is um, some caulking between my countertops and the wall. You know, it's been some time since that's been done, and I hate how it, it always looks dirty when it's not. And I feel like certain things are decorative accessories, um, the outlet covers being one, and I just want my stuff right before I do it. Am I the only one that saved the restaurant Tupperware? I know I'm not. I know I'm not. Y'all better stop spending y'all money at the department store for um, Tupperware when you can get them from the restaurants, from the Chinese store. Listen, they hold up good, okay? Now, I don't mind washing dishes. I will wash them all day by hand and not use the dishwasher. However, I do not like drying dishes, okay? I was raised where we had to wash, dry, and put the dishes away all at the same time. And I just don't want to do it, okay? I just do not want to do it. So I wash my dishes and I let them dry in a dish rack and then I put them away. I can only imagine how much water I probably waste doing dishes because I have to change my dish water at least two to three times depending on how many dishes that are dirty that I have. And and I let the water run when I'm rinsing them. I know some people like to pre-fill their sink with water and rinse their dishes like that, but I don't do that. I know I've been a little later than usual in uploading new content, guys. I apologize. Like I said, I have been having so much going on in my personal life. Just having deadlines and different things that I need to meet. I have been doing some projects. However, I haven't been able to capture um, everything on camera. I probably will end up sharing some of the content that I was able to get. Um, but on another note, y'all... My husband, okay, done called special pickup on me, talking about I um have too much stuff in my closet, and he gonna send me this Google search thing of the definition of a hoarder and send me pictures of my closet. The nerve of him, as if I've reached that status. Now, I know I need to do a little cleaning in there, but give me a break okay like <laughs> i couldn't believe he did that but i'ma submit because you know this is a collective shared space so i gotta make my my husband happy
Now, it just would not be right if I did not wash my frog. So I'm handling that, okay? If you're new here and you don't already know, I am a major frog lover. You may not like frogs, and I know, I know, I know. Why do you like frogs? Ugh, I don't, I don't understand. I hear it all the time. Listen, everybody cannot be butterfly lovers, okay? Somebody has to like frogs, and I happen to be that girl. Now, there is an awesome acronym for frog, which is fully rely on God, which just increases my love for frogs even the more. Once I finish washing my dishes, I like to put a nice smelling scent down my drain. I cannot stand a sour smelling sink. I needed to give my backsplash and my stovetop a quick wipe down prior to cooking dinner. And once I deep clean my kitchen, y'all, I'll show y'all how to use those um, gap space covers that go between the counter and the stove. I just need to pull my stove out and clean back there first. I like a little ambiance when I'm cooking, okay? I am using Old Faithful tonight. Those of you who have been with me know who Old Faithful is. I don't care how beat up Old Faithful looks. I love cooking with her. I am getting my pan and my oil together so that when I get ready to place my chicken wings in there, it is good to go. All right, guys, let's talk about chicken, raw chicken. Like, do y'all wash y'all's um, chicken? Because, you know, I know some people like to wash their chicken or rinse their chicken or um, clean it in vinegar, whatever way you do it. Um, and then some people don't. You know, I think that it's like a whole big study about whether or not you should clean your chicken. Um, just because of the cross contamination now as you can see I do clean my chicken and get the feathers and all of that off like but I am very um, meticulous particular and careful about handling um, raw meat and when I do finish cleaning my chicken I um, go back and re-clean all of my surfaces um, extremely well just to be on the safe side but Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know. Do y'all wash y'all chicken? Don't y'all wash y'all chicken? I remember years ago, I remember seeing um this girl fry some chicken and she took the chicken straight out the pack and put it in the frying pan. Now, granted, she may have done it the proper way, but it just didn't seem right, look right, feel right to me under no circumstance and ever since i saw that like i just got this thing in my mind that like i have to wash my chicken because i just i couldn't bring myself to eat it i was just like oh like i couldn't believe she did that but i could be wrong i don't know you tell me i do like to use different flavors on my wing ding sometimes but tonight i'm just seasoning it with salt and pepper um basic and um getting it in the flour so i can get ready to fry it i did switch the um the strainer that it was in that i washed it in to season it in i don't know maybe that's a psychological thing too but that's what i do now i know some people like to season their chicken as well as their flour um which 
it seems like a lot to me some people like to season only their flour and put the chicken in there I don't do that because I always waste flour and I just feel like it don't really get in the meat the way I want it to um but this is how I do mine I know some people like to put their um, flour in a bag too do people still do that and shake the chicken up in a bag to get the coverage Maybe I'm, I'm doing it the long, hard way. I don't know, but I've been eating every little nook and cranny of my chicken covered because I like my wing beans fried hard. I check to see if my grease is ready by taking a little bit of the flour and putting it in the pan. If it sinks to the bottom, then you know you are good to go. I'm a flats girl. I love that part of the chicken. So I'm so glad that my husband and my son prefer the drum. It might be a little selfish, but when I shop for the meat, I always check the bag to make sure it has more flats than drums in it. I know, that's so wrong. But that's what I do. They end up eating some of the flats anyway too. So it's a win-win situation. I didn't show this in my haul, but I purchased this little pumpkin tray um, that I thought was super cute. I am actually going to use it for my paper towel and my fork um, as I'm frying my chicken. Now, listen, I switch out my paper towel as well as my utensil several times too during the frying process because I like to flip my chicken um, a few times. As I indicated, I like hard, crunchy chicken. Um, and I don't use the same fork that I start out with. So I switch, I switches it, okay? I need something on the side of my stove. My chicken is done after a few flips and I must say, I cannot wait to eat it, okay? It's the golden brown for me. We are having vegetarian beans and a salad to go with it and it is going to be mm, mm, good. All right, let's have a closer look at this new faucet. You turn it on by this lever. You push it back, it's cold water. You push it up, it's hot water. My husband had to fix a leak under our sink earlier um, last week uh, prior to installing this new faucet. So that's what you see him doing. I love how you can detach the um, faucet from the little hook that's there. There's two water features. One is straight water. The next is the sprinkler. You can move it around. I love how flexible um, it is. And listen, it's a winner. I got it from Amazon and I think I only paid about 54 bucks for it. We have come to the conclusion of this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate your presence here. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Until next time, ciao.